my name is Kirk I am the former supervisor for this event. I'm not doing it this year, but the gentleman who was in charge this year couldn't make it today. So, so they called me again. Uh, it's bridging the gap. Last year it was uh, towers, or sure. mystery architecture, thank you, where you built a tower this year. It's back to bridges, which we haven't done in a few years. Um, they're going to get 20 minutes, the kids, to build a bridge. Uh, this bridge is going to have to support a tennis ball in the middle of the bridge. So they're going to come in and we're going to give them a bag of supplies. Can't really tell you at all what the supplies will be this year since I'm not buying them, but uh, it's going to be... We have to fill almost 200 bags every year for this event, so it's going to be something that we can buy in bulk and it's going to be something cheap so we don't go over budget too much, so straws and but will we the know, list here. I'm sorry. Will yeah. we know ahead of time what they might be? No, no sir. Okay. There, there was talk about giving a, a suggested list, but I don't think that's going to happen this year. So, uh, generally, the materials are going to come in a paper bag. Whatever, whatever the materials come in, the kids can use. It comes in a paper bag. One year, we use grocery bags. The kids can use that. There's not always tape. Um, they're going to get something some type of attachment. Some years it was string, some years we used styrofoam where the you know the straws could stick in the styrofoam, something like that. But, so when you practice, you want to make sure you practice with as many different types of attachment as possible. Uh, so they're going to come in. It's one giant room. There's no partitions. The kids come in every five minutes. They have 20 minutes to build. They're going to get a little timer. Every team's going to get a timer, so they kind of they can see what the other teams are doing. You can kind of watch ideas propagate around the room and then it dies out as the kids go. They're going to build the bridge in place. We're going to give them a couple cardboard boxes that they can use to test the bridge. We're going to give them a tennis ball that they can use to test the bridge. Once the kids are done building the bridge or once the 20 minutes is up, they're going to come up to us, to this device over here and they should be able to tell us roughly how far apart to set the supports to begin with. So I know it suggests a tape measure, but it's pretty crucial that the kids bring some type of measuring device with them so they, they know approximately how far apart the columns should be. Uh, they can bring scissors. Each kid can bring a pair of scissors. Each kid can bring a pair of pliers. Usually scissors and pliers and a tape measure is about all they need, but uh, Kind of be prepared. Uh, yeah, they can bring a pencil and a pen. Generally, if, if they're going to bring tools in, we're going to kind of check the tools as they come in, and then anything we don't like, then I get to keep. So. No um, yeah, they're going to work on the floor. Like I said, they're all going to get an individual timer. Keep track of it, but they'll be able to see how much time they have left. When they're done, they're going to bring it up. We're going to set the columns apart to wherever they tell us. They're going to set the bridge on top of it, and then they're going to place the tennis ball on top. We don't want to touch the bridge or their device until after it's been measured, so nothing happens. Uh, I'm sorry. It, they will set the bridge on top. You said they will put the bridge okay. on top, right? Thank you. Uh, the bridge has to support the tennis ball for five seconds. So the kids are going to come up, and as soon as they let go of the tennis ball, we're going to start a five second count. Usually we don't use a stopwatch, usually it's a mental count. Um, what you want to really emphasize with your kids is the bridge needs to support the tennis ball. It doesn't, it does matter how long it is, but it really matters that it supports the tennis ball. So if you're your student builds a six inch bridge that supports a tennis ball and another student builds a three foot bridge that doesn't, the six inch bridge is going to be scored higher than the other bridge. Uh, once we get the, uh, the five second count, the kids are going to take their bridge over to another table where we're going to weigh it. And we weigh it just for in case of tiebreakers. Yes, sir. The box that they were going to have is it going to fit exactly on that platform, the size of it, or the, the is it going to be larger or smaller? 
the box that they're going to use to test. Well, they're, yeah, they're, they're, they build the bridge on the floor, and they're going to put it on this particular structure here. So it's going to be approximately right, the, the size of the, the two boxes that they're going to build on the floor stay there. Oh, the okay. bridge The bridge can't attach to it in any way. The bridge can't touch the floor. It can't touch the ground. Um, the boxes we used to get post office boxes. They're about yay big. Oh. Okay. The kids can turn them upside, you know, turn them on end if the bridge is sagging a little bit. But that's the device. So they're going to take that bridge to that. Hopefully, it fits on top. Uh, we do have extra supports if it's wide or something like that. Uh, yeah, so from there they go and we weigh it. Excuse me. Yes. Um, do you have to use the whole, all the material or no? No. So. <clears throat> It, in case of a tiebreaker, they want the lightest bridge. Oh, the lightest bridge. The lightest oh, bridge, so they don't have to use all the material at all. One more. Yep. Not time. It's not who builds the lightest bridge in the shortest time. Just the lightest bridge in the case of a tiebreaker. In the case of the tie, right. We don't keep track of the time. Okay. In any way, shape, or form. Is there any uh, like points scored? Because obviously, a, a one that's wider, you would would probably be harder to support a tennis ball than something smaller. Is, is there any extra points given for the only bridge? metrics for you is are going to be the distance mm -hmm. and that's it's not the length of the actual bridge it's the distance between the two columns okay I got you. and then the weight yes sir with the uh, tower the ball had to be the highest point does that have to be the case with the bridge on the bridge the zag is okay I believe that it has to be the highest point on the bridge it always was um, they can't make a little gondola and suspend it, put the ball underneath, something like that. But they can. They cannot. Oh. But I guess I'm going to put that. The, the ball has to be, the has to be on the bridge. Top, right? Can the ball be part of the structure? No, because they're going to test with the ball, but that ball stays with the two boxes. Then they come up. We're going to give them, you know, the official ball. So. Uh, what is the distance between those two columns? These two columns are going to move. So once they once they tell us what dimension it is, you know, if they come out and they say, "Well, we think we can span two feet," you know, we're going to move the column to about two feet. Then they're going to put the bridge on top. Right. Then if they tell us two feet, we set it up for two feet, and they put it on, or they look at it, put it on, and think it's we can adjust it a little bit up until the point where they put the ball on top. Once they place the ball on top. All bets are off. Okay. Is, there, is there a minimum that they have to be apart? So they're, they're going to be scored the same way regardless of the length. So no. there isn't an incentive for the kids to build it two well, feet long versus one feet long. The largest dimension between the two columns is going to win. The largest dimension that supports the tennis ball is going to win. And then the second tier, all the bridges that don't support the tennis ball go into a second tier scoring. And the longest bridge out of that is going to be in there too. Yes, sir. How far can it sit on that top platform? It could. If they build a three foot bridge but decide that it can only be a foot yeah, span, it I'm can saying. stick out back this way. It doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. As long as nothing touches the floor, okay. they can't build hooks. Right. You know what I mean? They can't stretch. They, they can't, can't attach, attach it, it to the platform. In any or set. But it will be the length of the, the distance of the pillars, not the length of the bridge that will be covered. Correct. It's the, it's the span in between the two columns. How wide are those squares that are those blocks? How big are those? They're about five by five. But like I said, we have other boards we can put on top if we need to span. It's bigger. Any other questions? I just wanted to clarify one more time. So we have, they have to support it for five seconds. And if they do that, then the next thing is the measurement between the two columns. And if there's a tie for that, then they do the weighing. Right. And that's the order of how you would find a winner. Yep. Gotcha. Thank you. The weigh it in grams. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. What tools are they going to be allowed to bring? They can bring, they definitely want to bring scissors. They definitely want to bring a pair of pliers. And it can be, you know, side cutters, needle bells, whatever it is. They can. Whatever tools they're comfortable with, they can bring, and then we're going to check them at the door. You know, 
they can't bring any knives, they can't bring any guns, they can't bring <laughs> Leathermans, things like that, sharp things. Really don't want to see razor knives. But. Isaac, you said that they can extend beyond. When I was looking at the rules, I said they can't extend. Is that for? I'm not exactly sure what that. Oh, I see the extend beyond the end supports. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let me, uh, like I said, I'm not the supervisor oh, no this problem. year, but uh, before it's all, they can do it. Yeah, let me. Uh, we'll get it on the FAQs. Okay. And definitely check those right before the event. In the past, it's always been able to extend past that. crash thing where they had a bag of supplies well, we knew what the supplies were at um, district no the big one the other one yeah um, their bag was incomplete and they didn't know it until they were trying to look for supply and they told us that oh I'm sorry we're just you know volunteers they made a mistake um, but they sh my kids should have been prepared to do an inventory of their bag right. so since we're not going to know what we're going to have beforehand is there going to be a list in there that they'll have time to kind of check to make sure that this is what's supposed to be in the bag and that actually is in the bag? We, we generally post a list, you know. But I mean, the day of the, the competition, the because that's one. what they told us, because they didn't give us any allowance or anything for the fact that our bag was. In, in the past, we posted a couple lists around the room that they're actually working in. <clears throat> okay. And then they, so they can, can, go they can check, check out through it. And if they open the bag to go through the material and say something's broke, <clears throat> immediately. You know, tell come them. to see us, but I mean, we're right there too. Sure, with them, so. sure. It was but just something it, we learned. But if it breaks while they're building it, then they can't get a replacement. If right. it's broken when they first get it open, they can get a replacement. But if it breaks right. during, they can't. They want to do a quick preview. You know, sometimes the bags, the straws will be taped together, and then that tape that's around those straws, you can use as long as you take it off correctly. If they do get taped, tell your kids not to stick it to the floor. You know, because once once they've done something like that, we can't replace it. Yes, sir. Can they actually build the structure below the platform? I'm sorry. So, like, if it's resting on both sides, can they actually have something built below the platform? So, is that making sense? So, not counting this, you know, the stack yeah. and the bridge, but they can build below. Yeah, so they can. Okay. They can build whatever structure they want, as long as the tennis ball goes on top. 20 minutes, it seems like a long time, but yeah, it'll, it'll go quick for them. Um, how many uh, teams compete at a time? Um, There's usually eight to 10 teams at a time, and like I say, they're gonna rotate every five minutes, you know, a team in and a team out. Okay, and how many teams altogether in the past would you say? There's between 85 and 90 teams. Okay, wow. Okay, let's just say the um, tennis ball. It can sag as long as it doesn't touch the ground okay. or sag to where it comes off the supports. Okay. The bridge can't touch the ground? The bridge cannot touch the ground. Are the coaches allowed in the area at all? Is it an observable event, though? Are we allowed to see it? No. Nope. Okay. They have a little door. They'll open the door, oh, the wow. kids will go in, and then they'll... Usually my wife lays across that door. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they'll put paper on the door. Yeah, there's... <laughs> barricaded, yeah. Yeah. Do you get it back in the end? You bridge what? In, in the end, depending on the supervisor, but we've usually laid them out at the end of the session. The kids can come back and pick up their bridge. It's hard to keep track of whose bridge is whose. Like I said, we're going to have 90 of them. They're all going to look alike. But you 
we do our best. We usually put tape with the team number or something on it, but <coughs> they don't always survive very well. Is, is there an inventory of what's been in the bags in previous competitions? Like, so if I'm going to go buy some supplies, I can get an idea of. It's uh, uh, on the on the rules. It gives you what it says. Straws, coffee stirs, wooden skewers, paper clip, tape, string paper, etc. So just go up whatever it's on the road. Yeah, pretty much if you go to the dollar store and whatever you can buy in bulk is probably what we're going to get to. Um, gone to Home Depot and got sheets of styrofoam and cut those up into little squares. We've given out uh, previous years uh, pamphlets from the, from the event. And the kids could use that, you know, it's like a magazine almost. And you said they can't use the bag itself? Yes, anything we give them, they can use. Any other questions? The bag, is it a, like a little lunch bag or is it a big grocery bag? It's generally a lunch bag. It's been a grocery bag before, and I don't know what it will be this year. So, Just when they practice, that's what you really want to emphasize is different material, keep them on their toes. Okay. Have a great day, folks. Thank you. Good luck.